My name is Sarah Storr. I blog at thenakedredhead.com, where I truly believe that life is funnier when you're naked. Um, but five years ago, I want to tell you a story about how five years ago I was broke, alone, and heartbroken. But don't worry, this, this is not one of those get-rich-quick stories. This is not how I found love and five easy steps without whoring myself on the corner of gay and high. Instead, this is a story about community, a story about friendship story about one girl's quest to find the cheapest gin and tonics in town while waiting for her heart to heal. The story of a 30-something sea busser and how she discovered the power of community to get shit done, to break down the walls of prejudice, and to make people better than they are. Now, I was never one of those little girls who dreamed about her wedding day. I didn't want colors or a dress or even a handsome knight to sweep me off my feet. And yet, there I was, I was a 21-year-old infant I was walking down the aisle toward another 21-year-old infant. <laughs> Two kids who had no idea what the hell they were doing, but reeling to really try to ruin it anyway. And then five years later, everything changed. I was not the person I once was. I was still morphing into the person that I wanted to be. And then the problem was I was making some pretty terrible decisions along the way. And then boom, I hit rock bottom when I had to sit across from my parents as a grown-ass woman and ask for a bailout. But life, <laughs> this is for Twitter nerds right here. Life was not over. I was learning a very valuable lesson right then, a lesson I hope every single person in this room learns tonight, and hopefully not the hard way. You see, it's not about me. It's a pretty revolutionary concept if you think about it. Not about me, but um, I'm kind of awesome. Uh, but it's really not, and it's really not until I learned that lesson and started investing in my community first that, lo and behold, my needs started getting met too. So here are three things that I've discovered about community. Community can get shit done. So in those first early months, I needed my community more than ever. I was very blessed to have friends that gathered around me like a family, um, making sure I was eating, making sure I got home okay, making sure I did not go home with the 65-year-old townie at the bar. <laughs> they helped me move, they helped me find a roommate, and one of them, when I was super broke, offered me the last $100 that he had. Now, without a community, you're just a lone person making an effort, which really can be a powerful thing. With a community, though, you are not only powerful, you are unstoppable. And Columbus, it has been awesome to watch you guys gather around startups, charities, mom and pop shops, even your favorite bars. You guys know how to get some shit done. Community can also help break down the walls of prejudice. Now, I'm about to make a confession here. I met my first real gay person in 2002. Okay, I know, I know, they're not some weird science experiment. I just grew up in extremely sheltered Baptist, okay? So I'm in my first community theater production. I meet a man who happens to love other men, and I was surprised to find that, hey, he's just normal. He's a person. I guess I thought that all gay people would dress like Liberace. And, but the more I grew to know my friend, the more I realized, wow, I was completely wrong, and my preconceived notions began to melt away like mascara after a good cry. I could not help but be friends with him. And I could not help but be changed, look at that, because of our friendship together. Now, we all, the more I kind of immerse myself in my community and other communities, the more I realize that people is people. We're all inherently the same, right? We all want food and shelter. We want to be loved and appreciated. We want to know that we matter. It's a lot harder to hate someone when you know personally where they're coming from. Last but not least, power of community can make people better than they are, you know, not jerk offs. So I don't like when people excuse bad behavior by just saying, well, that's just the way I am. Um, just the way I am, I'm kind of bitchy and antisocial by nature. Just not going to lie about that. <laughs> but bitchy and antisocial does not work well in a community, at least not if you want to experience the full benefits of being in a community. I've gone from being that bitchy and antisocial, scared, alone little girl to the person who craves the company of her community. And I've not only learned more about who I am, but more about who you are. And you all have taught me that, yes, I can be nicer. It's within me. And yes, I am stronger than I am. I thought I was, and I can pass that gift to others. So yes, it may take a village to raise fewer jerk-offs. But with our little village, our little community here in Columbus, Ohio, 
we can make ourselves and our own little world a little bit better. Thank you. That's great, thank you. What was the name of that guy?